Welcome! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add rows to your habit tracker. If you don't have yours yet, you can go get it on my Etsy shop. It's, you will find the link in the description down below. So the first thing you need to do is you need to locate the section in which you want to add your rows. So let's say I want to add it here on daily habits. I am going to pick a space that's in the middle. So I'm going to pick a space that's not the first row and that's not the last row. So I'm going to pick a space right around here in the middle anywhere will do. I'm going to select a row by clicking on the row number. I'm going to right click and insert one row above. Now, as you can see, the formatting is funny and there's no formula here. So what you need to do is you need to copy an already existing row and paste it on this new row that will copy the formatting and the formulas. So I'm going to pick this one. Let's pick this one. I'm going to pick wake up early. I'm going to select the row that I want to copy by clicking on the row number. It's important that you click on the row number so it selects the whole thing. As you can see, it selected everything. So I click on the row number, I copy, and then I paste on my new row. Now what happened is since my already existing row had a habit and had a checked box, it's going to copy that as well. So it did copy the formulas, but it also copied everything else. So if the row that you used to copy was already filled out, you need to manually remove that. So let's do, and now I remove that and I'm gonna do drink lots of water. And then I'm gonna start working with it and everything is working fine here. It's moving, which means the formula was copied correctly. Everything is fine. Now let's say that you want to add multiple rows. What you do, if you want to add, for example, five rows, you are going to select five rows in the middle, ignoring the top one and ignoring the bottom one. So let's do it here. I'm going to select those five rows by clicking and dragging on the row number. I'm going to right click, insert five rows above. Again, no formulas. So what we need to do is give it formatting and formulas. We do that by copying an already existing row. Let's say meditate. We are going to select again. You, you need to only select one row. If you select one row, that's fine. You don't need to select and copy five rows. You can select a single row, copy that single row, and then paste the whole thing, the same thing, paste it in every single row like this. Now, since it was already filled out as before, we are going to just manually delete that. And then you can change your habits to whatever you like. And as long as there's a habit in there, it's going to work. This is all automated and it's working perfectly fine. The same thing happens right here in the other habit section. You pick a section in the middle, insert one row above. It looks funny. There's no formulas. You copy an already existing row and you paste it right here. Same goes for this section. Same goes for this monthly habit section. Now this one might trick you because if you add a row, as you can see, there's formulas here. And if you add a row, it has to be in the middle again, you add a row above, it looks exactly the same, except for the part that there's no formulas here. So you know that row 11, row 11 right here, it's highlighted, it has no formulas. So you need to go ahead, copy an already existing row, paste it on row 11, and now there's formulas. So I just wanted to mention that this section, the yearly goal section, I didn't build that for you to be able to add more rows easily because it's meant to have a limited number of things that you are working on at the same time. So what happens is once you are done with a goal, you can delete it and add new goals. So I would only work with a few goals at a time. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to me, uh, message me on Etsy. I, um, I will be more than happy to help you out.